You, you're not going to become the uber financial guy because that's kind of a, a bad thing to be in. That's like, who's that guy? Is Ramsey. It Kramer? Mark Kramer. Oh, Ramsey. 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 Susie Orman. Well, actually, oh, Sue, I, I was going to mention Sue. I thought it was Suze. Is it Suze? Suze. 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 Orman. Suze. Suze. Suze Orman is someone to think about because she, she sticks very closely to, I'm not saying you should go into her niche because she has a very uh, financial slash emotional niche. Her, the favorite part of her program is should I buy it or should I not, right? And she just and she gives essentially yes or no answers and then be, berates them or, right. or compliments, usually it's berates them. It's mainly into women. Right? Yeah. <laughs> but, but she knows where, in, she knows where her wheelhouse is. So you have 1,500 customers that you either know something about or you know nothing about. And once you start to find out what those guys are, stop thinking, don't do it intuitively, don't guess, don't ask someone else about it. Go back to them and find out why they bought and what's going on. It, it, you, it, you can do this any number of ways. Uh, you can email them, to, just want to check up on you, want to see how things are going, blah, blah, blah. By the way, what you know, and, and start a conversation. Uh, the, the blog type of thing. If you do want to get into this as the ren, renegade financial planner, you won't be alone. So you need to get get into the uh, looking at the competition in that niche and stuff. There's a lot of people out there because financial planners are hurting too. So they're, you know, there's no more finances to plan. So, <laughs> so they're out there, and, and you you may find there's five guys out there calling themselves the renegade financial planner. So find out what the niche is. What how and, and don't think about how can I, how can I. Uh, dominate this niche. Think about how I can position myself to either dominate this niche or find my own place within yeah. this niche. And if you find out that there's 50 guys calling themselves renegade financial planners, then okay, that was a nice idea, but that ain't what I'm going to do. So how do you fit in? So you start, and by doing that, it just all this other planning starts popping in your head. Like, oh, okay, now that I'm looking at the competition, how are their headlines working? If you know a guy who's doing this and he's and he's making it work because he's been in there for a while, or you happen to know, or or what 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 should he do when he comes across all these guys, right? You buy their stuff, you find out how they're responding to it, and actually, a lot of times I tell people to just call their office if they have an office to call, call, and whoever picks up the phone, ask them, say, hey, how are you guys doing with this ad on 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 the web? You'll be astonished how many times they'll just give you, they'll give away the story. They'll tell you everything. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it did real well. We hired a guy and they say, we're making 50 grand. Oh, they say, oh, it's not doing very well, things like that. So do your research. Find out what, what the thing is. And then it will become clearer and clearer and clearer to you how you have to position yourself to be, if not the main go-to guy, one of the go-to guys to find your place in that niche. And so then, and then, then all, everything we talked about, like doing the blog and all this stuff, all that stuff just starts to, to, to naturally be the next step.